And that's where I started to go, okay, let me look at the timeline here. Usually Friday news dump. Uh, here we are in July. And it almost felt like, hey, can we sneak this one by the goalie here? And uh, he, he's uh, been suspended for two weeks. It felt like once we knew he was suspended for two weeks, then our curiosity was, well, wait a minute. What gets you suspended for two weeks in July and not maybe a couple of games? Or how serious is this? Because nothing changed from Friday to Monday except for Pat Fitzgerald got fired. Well, yeah, that and and some of the details started coming out. And that's why I think Northwestern, I, I'm not here to say Pat Fitzgerald should, should or should not have his job or they acted in the wrong. Maybe they should have fired him on Friday and they made a mistake then and they corrected on Monday. I don't know. All I, I'm just looking at it from afar. We don't know all the details. There is a big report. There is a thorough investigation. Yeah. And they sat there and said, okay, let's give them two weeks off in the middle of summer where nothing is happening at Northwestern. Um, if you're going to suspend someone for two weeks, these are the two weeks to do it. That literally no impact on anything. There's barely any recruiting going on. Uh, you know, go to your lake house, come back in two weeks. We're going to implement this stuff. We will, we will root out the culture. That's a problem. So they were all in agreement on Friday and then the details come out what they should have done. Uh, right or wrong, whatever if it led to this or not, is release the entire report, allow all of the context and perspective to come out. I'm not saying any, uh, again, the complainant could be 100% accurate and what is described is um, is troubling and ridiculous and all of those things. But many times with this stuff, you want the full perspective. This, this was a court, this is a this is a court case. It's not a criminal court case. It's not a civil court case, but it's in the court of public opinion. Why are we keeping our coach? Why are we firing our coach? What you don't do if you're the school or a defense attorney is ever just let the witness, uh, the complainant get up and tell his story and then say, we have no questions. We have no opening statement. We have no uh, rebuttal. We have no witnesses, nothing. We're just going to sit here. Um, and that's what Northwestern kind of seeded the, the 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 narrative in the court of public opinion. And then when it started to shift, perhaps rightfully, yeah. um, they can't, they all of a sudden change their mind and go to the drastic step of firing. So I thought the whole, I don't know that the result is wrong. I just know the, 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 the way they got to it is, is highly questionable and was botched. And so maybe again, they should have fired him on Friday. Why did the president not fire him on Friday? And then on Mondays to say, oh, my, I'm just so troubled by this. He, this guy has to go. Instead of saying, look, he, you know, what, whatever justification they came up with on for, I assume it's he's been here 17 years. He, he, you know, we can, we can stop, we can stop hazing very quickly. This isn't something that's like impossible to stop. We can, you know, you can stop it right away. It'll never happen on the 2023 team. Uh, instead, it's just like, he's got to go. So really awkward, clumsy effort. Uh, on how they got to this. Maybe it's the right decision. Maybe it's the wrong one. I just, I, neither I nor pretty much anyone other than the president of Northwestern has any idea about the full context of the story. Yeah. And the cynic in me, if he's 11 and one last year, not one and 11, uh, he's not as vulnerable, it feels like. Also, did coaches know about this? Assistant coaches, the new head coach, the interim head coach, players, seniors, ju you know, juniors, were they culpable in this? Uh, you know, is there sexual assault that's in here? Uh, did they violate Northwestern's code of conduct? I mean, there's a lot to unravel here other than it felt like, hey, two weeks, let's move on. Uh, fire the coach, let's move on. It just feels like this is a ball of yarn, uh, Dan, that is just going to keep on unraveling here and might get even uglier. Uh, until you release the full report, it's going to keep dripping out. That was a extremely naive by Northwestern to assume to just say, "Hey guys," it, and and look when you when you suspend someone like Pat Fitzgerald on a Friday in the summer on the week of July Fourth, it's a news dump to try to hide the story, right? Yeah, it's such an obvious news dump that it becomes the story. <laughs> it becomes obvious. <laughs> Nobody is getting fooled. Yeah. Like, wait, Pat. Fitzgerald is getting suspended. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, we just we just finished. Don't worry. Uh, just <laughs> calm down. Let everyone enjoy their weekend. Cook some hamburgers, and we'll be fine. No, everyone's going to go. Wait a minute. And and the naivete of thinking the complainant, who is not bound by any confidentiality, is going to just sit there and say, "Okay, I'm good with this." 
I definitely will not talk to the media about what I, you know, so this, this complainant saying, I didn't get what I wanted out of this. So I'm going to ramp it up and I'm going to tell the, the, my, my story was not told in this executive summary. It just said there was some things and, uh, you know, we'll just move on. He's saying, Hey, heck no, I'm going to tell my story and good for him. He has that right. What he went through, the story he told and what he went through, he deserves to, to tell his story. So he goes out and tells it. And now, all right, we got to go. Yeah. And then you sit there and say, well, they won four games in two years. But then on the other side, they're trying to raise money for a new $800 million football stadium. And Pat Fitzgerald is extremely popular and connected. With so how much did all of these things, did that play in on Friday? We can't fire this guy. We we got to build the stadium. Um, or was it now? Well, he wasn't winning anyway. Nobody knows anything. And everyone's now curious. America loves a mystery. And Northwestern created a mystery on something that perhaps was a simple solution or perhaps not. But eventually this story, this report has to come out because perhaps there is context. Perhaps there is other witnesses. Perhaps it gets worse. I don't know. I don't know what's in the report. Maybe it looks even worse and you go, how the heck did you not fire him on Friday? Or maybe you read it and go, yeah, maybe you give the guy another chance. Northwestern trying to hide by this has done no good on a story that it. I, I agree is a, yarn, a ball of yarn that's going to keep going.